Hello everyone, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to upload a file using Cypress and we will also be using a chat GPT here and see what chat GPT suggests us in uploading a file using Cypress. So let's begin. Uploading a file is very easy in Cypress and for that we will be using a plugin available and for this, let me open to the browser here and go to npm.js website and this is a website click on this one here and here you need to search for cypress file upload and this is the one 5.0.8 version is available click on this one and here you need to scroll down here so the first thing is that we need to install this one so copy this one from here and uh, go to the visual studio code here and let me terminate this one here and let me provide this one here click on this one and it will download this as a dependency so once it will be done here you need to scroll down here and need to check in your package.json so you will find this cypress-file-upload here in your dependencies so once you're done with that now let's see what this plugins suggest us so here if you are using a TypeScript, you need to do this. We are right now using the Cypress with the JavaScript, so we, are, we don't need this one. The second thing we need to do is that we need to add or import this one using the support slash command.js file like this. So let me go here, support command.js, and let me open this file. So here, like this way, you need to import this one right and once you're done with this one uh, what we need to do is that let me go back here and see so how to use this one so this is the way cy.subject.attach file this is the way cy. in html5 input type what we need to do is that cy.get we need to get this input field we need to use dot attach file and we need to provide our file so if there is a functionality where you need to drag an image and drop then this is a way and if you need to attach the multiple files then this is how you can provide the multiple files using this array okay so we will be using this simple zero.get and attach a file here and the first thing is that we need a file and because we need to upload that particular file and here in our case that file is basically our test data so in our previous tutorial of fixtures we learned that fixtures are used for test data to make our test data driven right so here what i'll do is that just click on this one click on reveal in file explorer so you will get this window here and let me go to desktop so that we can select a file here and so let me copy this chat gpt file from here copy and go to this cypress folder here and inside this fixtures we need to provide this chat gpt file and it has a extension called png dot png okay now simply go here and you will see that once we place this file you will see this file here as well now what i'll do is that i will create one file here so file upload dot js and let me copy some previous code let me do it from here let me copy it from this one so that it saves us time so let me change this to this is file this is file upload tutorial and learn a press file upload and for this tutorial i will be using a website which is internet hiroko app and we will see this one okay so let me copy this one from here and open the browser here and put this one here and open this one so this is a simple file uploader and you see that this is from where we can select our file then click on upload so let me do a practical in this way 
and let me go to desktop or let me use this this file from here just click on this one and click on this one the file is selected now simply what i need to do is that i need to click on this upload so it says some internal server error let me choose again file and click on upload so the file has been uploaded successfully and it says file uploaded so this is the functionality and we need to automate this one okay so let me copy this url from here and let me go back here and provide this url okay and we don't need this thing save this file now let me open the cypress runner npx cypress open and meanwhile this opens the first thing is that we need a file right and our file is under the fixtures folder and let me go to here file upload and let's see um, it should open the website successfully and this is a dry run here and let's see yeah so this page is opened and now the first thing is that we need to call this the file which we need to upload here and that's really simple in this case simply what i'll do is that i'll create a, a variable here const and i'm naming it as my file and my file is basically i need to provide a path here so my file is basically chat gpt dot png so this is my file name and now file is called here the first thing is that we need to click here basically if i go here we need to click on this one right we need to click on this one so simply if i go here into a test runner here and we need to identify this one so use a playground here click on this one let me copy this one from here and let's go here provide this one and the first thing we need to do is that we need to attach a file so using attach file cy.get we get this one and simply attach file and and we need to provide the name of my file okay so basically i'm calling this variable it contains this is referring to my chat gpt file which is present here and once it is done it should attach a file but it will not submit okay so let me save this one and let's run this one and see what happens here and here so you see that chat gpt.png is selected here but it's not uploaded yet so what we need to do is that we need to click on this submit button here so let me copy this one and go back here and provide this one here and here we need to click on this one okay right so after clicking on this one let me save this one and see now this time the file should be uploaded successfully yes file is uploaded here and furthermore but what we need to do is that we need to verify our upload as well so i need to put our sessions here so let me inspect this one and this is upload files so let me copy this one from here and let me go here and let me put my session here so upload files dot simply i'm using contains here you can use any kind of a session here so contains so let me type it as chat gpt and that's it because my file contains chat gpt dot png so let me save this one and see what happens so file should be uploaded and here it says it contains chat gpt so our assertion is passed here so that's how you can easily upload a file using a cypress but let me go to the chat gpt and see what chat gpt suggests here and let me ask how to upload a file using cypress so let's see what chat gpt suggests you can use cy.fixtures yes we use that cy.get method with the dot attach method yes yes we did that and make it right but we don't need to because already it's there and again the file is all already there 
and load the fixtures in your test then example.jpg and file content so this is other way where you can do all the things because we are right now using a plugin and plugin is taking care of these things we don't need to write this code but again chat gpt is correct in this regards and that's how we can actually use this kind of a upload using this kind of files so so file content is basically the content of the files you want to upload name of the file the mime type of the file you want to upload this example demonstrate how a single file but you can use the same approach to upload the multiple files if needed so if i go to this plugin again here so if you want to attach multiple files here so you can use in this way sorry in this way and if there's a drag and drop then you can use this approach so we have just uploaded a single file cy.get input attach the file then we click on the upload button so we successfully uploaded the file so if you're using any kind of encoding here so in this regards you can provide the encoding colon what kind of encoding you tf-8 so if there's any different kind of encoding you are using you can provide in this way and here you can see this example as well so these are examples are available and you can overwrite the name of the file if you want to override the name of the file so you can simply go here and you can override the file this way so this, the whole documentation is available against this particular plugin and just go through this one and you will find a lot of information available here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial